Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this wonderful vintage GE Mazda 150 watt incandescent bulb. So let's go right ahead and take a look at the wonderful etch here. You can see Mazda GE 150 watt 120 volt. It is quite dirty, but I don't really want to clean the bulb. I'm not sure if the etch is on the inside or out, so I don't want to ruin the etch on the bulb. There you can see it very nicely. Of course, we have a standard C-shaped filament inside, and in fact, this would be the size of a modern 300-watt incandescent bulb by GE. It's in a quite large enclosure by today's standards. Here's a standard 150-watt incandescent size of today. As you can see, um, definitely a difference there in size. This is a three-way, but 150 watt does come in the same envelope. Very cool. So, take a look at the stem here. We do have a number on it. So let's say 56. I believe you can tell the date by uh, looking at the uh, the press there. We have a wonderful brass base and overall really good construction. You can see it does have some use on it, but not not too much. We do have a little bit of blackening here in the neck. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and put it into our dimmer here. Our dimmer can go up to 150 watts, so this is perfect. We will go ahead and turn off all of the lights in the room so we can get a wonderful view here. And here we go. Definitely 150 watts, no doubt about that. I'll hold it above the camera here. It's about two feet above the sensor for the lux meter. Pointing straight down, because I did have it sideways to begin with. A wonderful incandescent. There you can get a nice view of the etch, too. And lots of fingerprints. Because, again, I'm, I'm worried about cleaning it and rubbing away the, the etch. Of course, we'll dim it down. Dims very nicely, naturally, being an incandescent. Wonderful color. It's really dim right now, like it's just barely glowing, but the camera makes it look real bright. That's awesome. Let's see how long it takes to cool down when you turn it off. A second, a second. Wonderful. Again, I'll hold it above the camera here. Does a absolute wonderful job lighting everything up. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell us the date on this thing. I'm not too terribly good with that. But uh, all you wonderful people watching have uh, knowledge as well on how these things are dated. And I highly appreciate your help in uh, figuring that kind of information out. Very cool. Very hot as well. Okay, we will turn it off. There it dims down. We'll turn on our video lights once again so we can... Take one last look at this wonderful GE Mazda 150 watt, 120 volt incandescent bulb. Would have been cool to see the sleeve that this thing came in. Awesome. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this quick little video. And also please comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.